thanks very much. My name is Arthur Green, 3 Cranberry Meadow Drive uh, from Sandown. Um, and um, I'm um, here um, due to my, I'm, I'm here as a citizen who's been volunteering actively to help the work of the now disbanded um, Minority Withdrawal Committee on Timberlane. And <clears throat> I, will, I will just mention, um, maybe it seems like a trifle, uh, there was a, an article in the Tri-Town uh, that appeared on Thursday describing last Monday's meeting that referred to me as a member of the committee. In fact, I'm not a member of the committee and, and, and never was. However, I've been actively volunteering as a citizen to help the committee with its work. Um, what I want to say, uh, a couple of quick points, uh, and thanks for your indulgence in yet hearing again uh, school district matters brought to the Board of Selectmen. But last week, Board of Selectmen voted to disband the withdrawal committee, uh, a vote that um, I personally uh, disagree with and, and was sorry to see. Um, I felt at the time that it wasn't fair to disenfranchise a vote of 700 people in the secret ballot at the March election in favor of um, a petition with about 200 signatures and about 40 people showing up uh, at a meeting. However, that th the, the selectmen did this and did this, um, I believe, um, in a spirit of extending a hand to the school district and also in a spirit of, frankly, trying to appease a threat of the school district going forward to Board of Education with a, an, a hostile and harmful withdrawal plan. So the Board of Selectmen took that vote, doing, you know, you know, doing what you felt was best. How has the school district responded in the last week? Well, um, the very next night, Tuesday night last week, the, the um, withdrawal committee um, held a meeting at which they reaffirmed the intent and, and took a vote on it to go ahead with submitting and pr with preparing a withdrawal plan. I can't say they've, they've said they'd submit it yet, but they're going, going ahead to prepare it. At the same time as, as acknowledging that withdrawal was going to be uh, not feasible and suitable, but they decided to go ahead with the almost amazingly um, malicious and unethical exercise of preparing a withdrawal plan which they know to be harmful to the town in question. So they doubled down. You know, they, the, the Board of Selectmen took an action that was intended to, to smooth the waters um, and the first act was to double down. The second act was at the school board meeting on Thursday night where um, there was an unannounced motion, which was passed by the school board, to the effect, and I can't quote it verbatim, that the Timberlane School District would entertain tuitioning students from Sandown in the event of a withdrawal, would, would, it, would tuition students from Sandown um, if and only if, that phrase was in the motion, if and only if both middle and high school were tuitioned together. So from um, a, an adverse or hostile um, withdrawal plan, they've gone to add more conditions that would make it extremely difficult under any withdrawal circumstances for Sandown to mitigate the costs of uh, operating with dual districts, to plan for an orderly transition of students to another school. So um, they've, they double down and then they double, double down again. To my mind, this is exactly the reason why the Board of Selectmen were in error in your vote of, of last Monday. Um, and I'm not here to ask you to reconsider it, but, but I'm here to say that um, um, the interests of this town against such frankly hostile acts and, un and unscrupulous acts requires 
that we keep the interests of our town at heart and the interests of people who are fighting, fighting for our town at heart. And I'm very glad that, um, that uh, uh, Selectman Bucco is uh, still um, fighting for the town at the Withdrawal Committee. As, as far as I know, she's the only one uh, who, uh, who voted against the motion at the committee except for, uh, s uh, for uh, uh, Dr. Farah, who's a uh, selectman representing Danville. So, you know, I, th I think it's, it's, it's vital that the interests of our town still be defended and represented against these hostile acts. There's one other thing that I'd like to say, and I thank you for indulging me. I, I want to say this. I understand that uh, Ms. Bucco took quite a beating at the meeting last Tuesday night for allegedly not having fulfilled expectations about material that uh, she was supposedly uh, d um, expected to provide. Well, let me say this. I've put in a lot of hours, a lot of hours as a volunteer to try and help the del del deliberations of the no minority committee. All of those hours, I felt, were trying to work out what might be a plan that would be better for Sandown students and Sandown pa Sandown parents than what they uh, uh, that they what they currently experience at Timberlane. I do not want my hard work to be placed in service of a hostile, malicious, adverse withdrawal plan that's intended to harm the town. I don't want my work to provide ammunition to harm this town by how it's fired back at us by the school district through their official committee. Now, whatever is, is public domain and legally necessary, you know, <coughs> fine, I, I, I would not hold back anything in terms of what needs to be turned over and what's, what's legally due to be turned over. But I, I tell you that I, I do not want my work at the service of the kind of uh, malice that was exhibited by the representatives of the district at last week's withdrawal committee or at last week's uh, school board meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Green.